Can't say I'm surprised by this. Kids often know much more about IT, networking, cybersecurity, and the rest than their elders. The ICO office in the UK warns about the insider threat of students leading to increased number of cyber attacks in schools. Over half of schools inside cyber attacks caused by students. Almost a third of insider attack incidents caused by students guessing weak passwords or finding them jotted down on bits of paper. So these are the people that are supposed to teach kids in schools and they're either writing their passwords down or having terrible passwords. Teen hackers are not breaking in, they're simply logging in. They say the children are hacking into schools' computer systems and it may set them up for a life of cybercrime. That's the warning from us as we have spotted a worrying pattern behind the culprits responsible for personal data breach reports from school. They looked at 215 personal data breach reports and found that 57% of incidents were caused by students and 30% of incidents were caused by stolen login details with students being responsible for 97% of those attacks. This has been reported by various websites, including the BBC talking about students or kids hacking. And they say that this is insider cyber attacks. And they say that the majority of so-called insider cyber attacks and data breaches are from kids within schools. In one incident, the child involved was seven years old. That was the youngest referral to the National Crime Agency. They reported that one in five children aged 10 to 16 have been found to engage in illegal activity online. Teen hackers are commonly English-speaking males and around 5% of 14-year-old boys and girls admit to hacking. A number of reasons are cited as to why children are hacking, which includes dares, notoriety, financial gain, revenge, and rivalries. A principal cyber specialist said, what starts out as a dare, a challenge, a bit of fun in a school setting can ultimately lead children to taking part in damaging attacks on organizations or critical infrastructure. It's important that we understand the next generation's interests and motivations in the online world to ensure children remain on the right side of the law and progress in rewarding careers in a sector in constant need of specialists. Now, this is the UK. This is the same country that's decided that you need to implement age verification to listen to music on Spotify or go to other websites. And then they think that kids are not gonna work out how to use a VPN to circumvent that. I mean, more information here. 23% of incidents were caused by poor data protection practices. Staff accessing or using data without a legitimate need. Devices left unattended. Students being allowed to use staff devices. It's all the kind of things that you shouldn't be doing. I think that these kind of kids should be given the opportunity to hack legally. Ethical hacking is a big opportunity. Bug bounty gives them opportunities to earn extra money rather than hacking their schools. Kids are often much smarter when it comes to the digital world than their elders.